Hi guys, welcome back. I wanted to take a minute just to show you uh, some more details about how you check the assignment out and in to get without passwords and also um, how to submit the assignment. So let's look at the password thing first of all. Uh, in Git, let's see if I go back to um, GitHub and I check on my, let's see if I can find it here. Well, fooey doodles, here we'll do it this way. Yeah, check on my profile, there is a settings tab. And under settings, there's a SSH and GPG keys right here. And you can uh, use this area to install your own keys. Now, before you install any, this will be empty. Um, but uh, what you want to do is to, in your home directory, you'll find a .ssh directory. If you don't find that, it means you haven't yet created any keys. To create a key, you just say SSH keygen and hit enter, and it goes to create it. Now, I've already got a set, so I'm not going to recreate it, but just follow the instructions there. I think for the purposes of this class, you can create a key with no passphrase. So just hit return when it asks you for a passphrase. That'll save you some trouble, and because we're not doing anything that's really super secret, <clears throat> I think the risk is minimal. So, um, anyway, you'll find in your .ssh directory, I'll go ahead and uh, display it here, there is a uh, file called id underscore rsa.pub. Basically, you want to copy the contents of that file into your clipboard and then paste it into a dialog on GitHub. You say, I want to make a new SSH key. You paste the key in here. You give it a name and then you, you post it. Now, uh, I've already got my key up there, so I'm not going to actually go through that step. But you do want to, you can either cat, use cat to cat out the contents of that key, like so, or you can open it in a text editor. Um, on the Mac, you can just use the command line open command. On Windows, you can just use the, um, use the file manager to navigate into that .ssh directory and open it with notepad or something. And that should work. But once you have your SSH key installed on GitHub, you should simply be able to go to the repository. So let me go back um, to see if I can find the repository here. I think it's going to be, uh, here we go. Here's an example. And I will simply copy that using, notice it says clone with SSH, I'll copy that into my clipboard, come back here and say git clone and paste, and that'll get it. Now you guys should all have your repository already. Once you have the thing, uh, you ought to be able to build the Docker image. Make sure you edit the Docker file. Remember, um, we changed, oh darn it, uh, hang on a second, I have to get the updated Docker file. So I'm going to copy. Wherever you edited the Docker file on your system, you want to get that edited Docker file. Um, let's see if that looks better. Yeah. So it needs the copy package.json to work and run yarn install in the Docker file. Then you can rebuild the image. Docker build tag. Assignment one dot. Now I've already rebuilt the image on my system, so it's already there. Um, then you want to run the Docker. Let's see if I can find that. There we go. You want to run uh, the Docker container. You want a dash v to map your current working directory, which your current working directory is actually the assignment one checkout of your code. To, da to slash work, and then you want to mask node modules by doing dash v with nothing before the colon, and then slash work slash node module. Then you want to name assignment one as the image, and shell as the executable. And what you should be able to see, and this is where people have been having trouble, is you should see the checkout of all the files from the repository, and you should see a node modules directory there. If you ls node modules, you'll find the node modules that were installed with the yarn install into the image itself. They're not on your, they're not in your mapped directory, they're on the image uh, that the container is running. 
Um, but these files, the README and the Docker file and so on, those guys, see if I go back to my host, uh, these files are all there, but node modules is just an empty directory on the host. So it's not, there's nothing there on the host, but there is something there in the container. So then you can run like the RM test and it should go. And of course, it doesn't actually work because I haven't finished any of the code. Um, let's suppose I, I, I get happy, I, I finished my assignment, all my tests are passing. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and I'll just touch, uh, touch the files so that it's modified. If I say git, uh, let's go back to the host. Now I'm back on the host, I'll say git status. And it says the Docker file's been modified. Let's go ahead and um, I'll just change this to say uh, I'll just put some dumb comment in there, just enough for Git to recognize that the files changed. So now I've modified the Docker file and I've modified the assignment. So now I can say git commit. This commits the changes I made to the local repository. I did it, okay? And I'll say dash a, which means I'm gonna add these files. Everything that's changed, I'm gonna add to the commit. So I added two files, I committed them. Now if I say git status, notice it says that my, I've got nothing to commit, everything's been committed, but I'm ahead of the uh, original branch, the branch on GitHub. So if I wanna push this commit to GitHub, I just say git push. And that pushes the commit to GitHub. And now if I go back to GitHub, you'll see that my file has changed 26 seconds ago. It tells, it is, has the comment that I put in there, I did it, and then, uh, then you're done. So basically that's how you commit your assignment. I will then collect the assignments on GitHub and grade them at the due time, okay? So that's all there is to it. I hope that helps. Um, again, in order to see the stuff in the container, you've gotta be in the directory. So if I do PWD, it says I'm in the directory that has my stuff. If I go back to my home directory, I wanna get back in that directory, I just say CD and then the path to the directory, and that puts me in there. Notice if I'm not in that directory and I run the Docker container, I'm, none of my stuff is there. It's all different junk. So that's no good. You gotta be in the directory where you're um, in the directory where your uh, code is. There you go. In order for this thing to work. If you do that, now I'm all set. Okay? All right, we'll see you guys next time.